everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my favourites. So I've put together everything that I have been loving over the summer, I guess, and these last few weeks. My first favourite is actually a music favourite, and I may have talked about this before, it's Dear Evan Hansen, um, but there's a specific song, and it's the song You Will Be Found, and I seriously love it so much. I've listened to it so much recently, and I just feel like the lyrics are so powerful, and it just, I just love it so much, and I just feel like it's, oh, I don't know, but you guys, you need to go listen to Dear Evan Hansen, You Will Be Found, um, and it just, oh, it's amazing, and I love the way it's sung, I love singing to it, I love the way it sounds, like I just, it's such a good, powerful song, and it is my favourite on the album, I think, the soundtrack, um, that, that is my first favourite, I've just been listening to that non-stop. Okay, my next favourite is actually, again, something I can't physically show you, um, but I will put a photo here, and it is the Amazon Alexa Dot. Um, I got the, oh sorry, it's just started glowing. I love it, I use it all the time, just, I love walking in and just being like, yo, play some music. You know, it's just really great. Um, so yeah, I got that Dot because I couldn't afford the, the bigger one, um, and I got the second generation one, and I got it in white, and yeah, I really, really like it. First of all, one favourite is actually this bodysuit. Um, it's from Primark, I actually bought it when I was in London with my mum, and I've been wearing it non-stop. I love the neckline, I love the straps, and I really love them, I don't know, I just really love it. Um, so yeah, this has been one of my favourites, it literally goes with everything I own, and it's so comfy, and it just fits me really well, so that is one favorite. Along the lines of clothes, um, another thing I've been loving is this top, this top is from Primark, it's in an extra small, and I, I love it. Firstly, the material is just it's so soft, it's ribbed, um, as you can see, but the ribs are like really soft materials because they're just really like delicate, a little cute little cut. I call these butterfly sleeves, but that's not actually what they are. They just remind me of butterflies. Um, I just love the colour, I feel like light blue is one of my favourite colours, um, and the buttons and everything, and it's also like a little, it's kind of v-neck but more rounded, and I just, it's really flattering on and I love this top a lot. Um, also clove wise I've loved mum jeans. Um, this pair specifically I actually got from Brogan. Um, her friend, they didn't fit hers and they, she gave them to Brogan and they didn't fit Brogan, they fit me. Um, yeah, I really really like them. I feel like they're just really relaxed and just easy to put on. Um, I'm actually wearing them right now so I can't hold them up. The thing I have been loving is kind of a weird favourite. You say it, Gillette, Gillette, Venus 3 razors. Um, Basically, let me get you one out. I'll get the purple one out, that's my fave. I've been using these, this is the second pack I've had, and these are my new favourite ones because, I don't know if you know, but I have sensitive skin. A lot of razors I use give me a rash, but these ones don't. Be Ow, I just cut myself. Um, they've not got like proper soap, they've got a little light line thing at the top, which is like, yeah. But these are really, really good. I really, really like these, and they're, they've got pivots which are always great. Yeah, these ones are really good. They, literally, I can shave my legs in five minutes, um, like less than five minutes if I'm in the shower and I don't cut myself. So they're the razors I've cut myself on less. So I'm quite happy with them and I really love them because I don't get a rash or eczema or anything from them. Um, my next favorite is a stationary thing. It is the Zebra Sarasa pens. I don't know if that's actually how you say it. Let me take the thing off because it's glaring. Um, I love these. I have been using these to organise my life, I guess. So I've been using different ones for different things. So I've been writing in um, different rehearsals in this colour. All of my dance stuff is in this. Any other random things are just in black pens. But these have just been really useful. They're really good for annotating things. Um, and I just really, really like them because they're really easy to write with. And for someone who holds pens weird, I'm not going to have this conversation again. But yeah, um, it's just so much easier to write with these. I like how they've got a grip because I don't get blisters and again like they are stunning colours aren't they? My next thing which I've been using to organise my life is my planner. I know I'm being organised. Paper Chase, it's 2018-2019 planner. Um, it was £12 and I love I love the colours, I love green, I love pink, and it all just matches really well. Am I in the right week still? Yeah. It's got huge spaces to write everything in, you can kind of see a bit more there. Um, so it's just really, really good. Oh my god, that was busy. Um, I've just found it so useful over the summer, I'm going to be 
loving using this when I go back to school as well or college um, to organize my life. But yeah, I've just been planning everything in here because it's easy for me to then know what I'm doing. So I can be like, oh yeah, I actually have to get up today which I'm really not looking forward to doing when I go to school. But it's got the tassel thing. So I can figure out what week I'm actually on. Okay, um, next I kind of have like skincare beauty stuff. So the first thing I have is this Quinoderm antibacterial face wash. And I actually got this months ago, but never used it until like about a month ago. I think I've been using it for a month now. And I really, really like this. I feel like it's really helped to clear up my skin. Like I've still got a bit but I feel like it's helped to get rid of a lot of the redness that my skin had which my skin was very red but now without makeup it's not as red which I really like I've also not had as many like big gigantic spots which I feel like this could have something to do with because I have been using it for a month now um it's like a like a liquidy gel consistency because it's gel but it's a runny gel and it smells quite minty actually yeah, and it you basically wash your face and then you rub it in like you focus on your forehead, your nose and your chin and it just helps to get rid of like your pores. I feel like the pores I had on my cheeks have got smaller, like they're still there, I'm not going to lie about that, but they are smaller and I really think this has had something to do with it. So I haven't been using what I was before, I use this in the morning and I use it at night, I still use this though take off my eye makeup but then the rest I use this um just because I have waterproof mascara and this doesn't work for that you can get it in boots I know that so yeah just been loving this really and it's really helped to clear up my skin and it makes my skin feel really really nice after I use it as well which is a bonus um next up I have the Garnier BB cream for combination to oily skin in shade light um this is actually not very light um I do have it on today but I used a ton of light concealer <laughs> because this is too dark so yeah this i actually did buy last year i don't really it smells very fresh i'm not a huge fan of the smell i really love this it gives the perfect amount of coverage that i need at the moment and at the moment because my skin is a bit better it's not got as much redness i haven't been needing as much coverage and i feel like this has been so nice it also like mattifies really nicely and it stays on all day which you know, it's a bonus. I really, really like this. I've also had a couple people ask me what I was wearing for my foundation when I was using this. So it's obviously doing something good. And yeah, I've just been really, really liking this. I should probably throw it away now. It says 12 months. Oops, I always keep makeup too long. I have a lip product, which usually I don't really wear lip products. I just kind of wear Vaseline and hope that does the job. But recently I have been liking this and I actually have it on today. It's the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade 31. And... I really love this. It's quite, it's like um, the NYX soft matte lip cream kind of consistency, but it does dry after a little while, but it does take a while for it to dry, which I really like because it feels really moisturizing for a long time. Um, this is a really nice color. It is a brownie nude, like, which I really like because if you know me, I hate pink nudes and this isn't a pink nude, it is a brownie nude, and I really love it. It also smells amazing. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Some people would hate that smell. I love things that smell really good, so I personally love this, but yeah, it's not too expensive. I feel like it was $8.99 or something, which I feel like is quite a good price for something like this, and yeah, really good. John, the Waitrose scones. I didn't like it. What do you think? I like it. Leave Sammy alone. She's going out yeah. to dinner in the summer. I think that'd be nice. I don't know how much it is, but... Ah! Off. Bonnie, <laughs> off. Come on, off. Bonnie. Next favourite is actually this. You can't actually see. It's a Chanel highlighter. Um, I bought this at Duty Free. And yes, I keep it in the velvet casing because it feels so nice. And it just makes it feel that bit more luxury. Uh, this is it here. I paid £38. Um, so obviously it was cheaper because it was at Duty Free. I feel like it was 38 I actually can't remember. Um, but it's the... Highlighting powder in 10 ivory gold. Um, this was the lighter shade they did and it's the perfect like neutral shade highlight It's what I actually have on day. It's my favorite. I love it It does come with a little brush, which I still keep even though I never use I should probably get rid of that um, And it does have this little lid here so it doesn't get as dirty, but it's so pretty It did have Chanel engraved in it But it's kind of come off because I've dipped my brush in it so many times. Um, I love how it has a mirror um, but yeah, it's just the perfect shade highlight for me because I really love more natural looking highlight shades. 
although I do like my highlight to pop, I don't like bright white highlights usually, and I just think this is the perfect shade. Oh, another of my favourites was actually the TV show The Originals. Um, the season 5 came out on Netflix, and I loved it. I really did. I cried multiple times throughout the series, but that last finale episode, like, that got me, like, proper crying. It was very, very good. Um... It was so good, and I love it, and I'm just really sad it's over. And because it's over, I'm now re-watching The Vampire Diaries to re-watch the originals after, because there's eight series of The Vampire Diaries and five of the originals. If you guys haven't seen it, please go watch it, because I, I really, really love it. If you liked things like Pretty Little Liars, um, you would like this, probably. Okay, I feel like that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't upload on Wednesday. I was just... I didn't have time, because I was waking up late... And then I was doing stuff in the afternoon I just physically didn't have time to upload then. So I hope that you like this video and I will see you all soon with another one. Bye! Tammy, you're literally cleaning your... I'm so sorry. I didn't realise this was happening in the background. I wonder how many videos that's happened in and I didn't even realise. I'm so sorry to all you who are having to watch that. <gasps> How could I forget this favourite? Sammy, I'm sorry, I'm just going to sit in front of you. Mamma Mia, here we go again. How could I forget how much I loved that? I've seen it three times in the cinema. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so good. I love all the songs. My favourite song is Why Did It Have To Be Me? I love that so much. I also love Andante, Andante, don't know how you say that. Also just loved Waterloo. I loved how that was performed. Um, I just... Oh, it's really good. I really love it, like I don't dislike any of the songs and I really really enjoyed it, I mean I saw it three times, yeah, oh my gosh, go see Mamma Mia, here we go again if you haven't, how I forgot about that, I don't know, oh my gosh, although, oh, wh what, how, my, okay, <laughs> Alexa, play Why Did It Have To Be Me on Spotify, I was so lonesome, I was blue, Really can't be bothered to pose. Oh. I'm so annoying.